It's Father's Day here in Canada. And I really want Sam to have the best Father's Day that he's ever had because you guys have seen how much he helps us and does for us so that we can live our dream with horses. I'm going down to feed the horses. Is there anything I can get for you before I go? Okay. You got me up. Coffee or no, anything? You got me up. No, I'm going to go down by myself. Let them sleep. No, no, you're going to get me up. No, don't get me up. Go and go back to sleep. I can't. I'm fine. I still have this huge element of fear dealing with the horses. If you guys remember, it was not that long ago that I didn't even ever touch a horse really before and I never really liked them, never really understood them and then now all of a sudden, like a year later, I have horses in my house, in my on our property and ever since the concussion, I have really been struggling with fear again because it can happen just like that. I've never really been seriously injured before and breaking my pelvis was a really hard one. In some ways, this concussion has been even harder because it's not healing up really quickly. When I do too much, it gets worse. It's, it's scary. Head injuries and neck injuries to me are really scary. Last night after the birthday party, I had a lot of pain. I had to take Tylenol before I go to bed and I don't normally take medication ever unless I absolutely have to and it it's just really scary. crazy to me the element of peacefulness that you achieve when you're dealing with big huge wild animals that can knock you over in the blink of an eye
this is not going well. Like, I'd love somebody in my family to see that I'm having issues and for them to, oops. And for them to come down. I see how they flip the fence. They race down that hill. Oh, good Lord. Why can't you just behave? You're giving me a heart attack. Literally giving me a heart attack skin. This is real and raw, you guys. Your horse is an idiot. All right, your horse is not an idiot. <laughs> Who's an idiot? Finn. How? Oh. Well, I tried to let them in there. I can't close the gate and hold two horses at the same time. Oh, Storm. I bring Storm in there and I drop his whole lead and I walk. Dad's holding Finn there. I just drop. Yeah, but I was by myself. So? Okay. So you hold Finn. Drop Storm. And then boom. Okay, so, so I'm scared of the electric fence going out. Yeah, and just Finn is out. not. So I dropped Finn. I undid Finn's thing, and guess what he did? What? Took off. He ran around there for a while, and then guess what happened? He went down to the Yeah, but then your horse was charging the fence downhill while it's wet, and he couldn't stop in front of the gate. That's how they wreck it. They run and charge the gate, and boom, they knock it down. Yeah. Yeah, so that was my morning. Did you say happy Father's Day to your dad? No. I didn't know it was Father's Day. <laughs> it is Father's Day and we want dad to have a really good Father's Day because he does a lot for us. Don't you think he does a lot for us? Kind of. Like today's Father's Day and what's dad doing? Getting jumps. Getting jumps. He found jumps for sale and arranged to go pick them up and the only time you could pick them up was first thing this morning before the lady had to go to work and so we're getting we're getting jumps for father's day yeah cool. yeah yeah cool i'm excited to go fishing are you excited to go fishing yeah I'm excited to do something fun for dad that he never gets anything done. Fun for him. I'm excited to It's more like treasure fishing. What do you think we're going to get? Nothing. I think we're going to get... Oh, I was watching a video and a guy got a phone. A phone? Yeah, I've seen that. Because the back of the phone was off, so there was some magnetic thing there. Oh. Yeah. I want, I, want, I think we're going to get license plates. Yes. So today is Father's Day, and we want to do something like whatever Sam wants to do. He always does horse stuff with us does whatever we want. Actually, I asked him if we could go trail riding, like take our horses someplace and go on a trail ride, and he's like, no. <laughs> I thought maybe he'd like that, but he didn't. So instead, where are we going, Gabby? He gets to sit and come rescue us, like yeah. on trail rides. Yeah, so where are we going instead? 
Magnet fishing. Yeah, Dad wants to go magnet fishing. It's this new thing. I do not brush my hair yet. I brush it my hair. It's like wet from like my view of the camera. It's just like, what? My view of the camera is a mess. Just a big mess for my hair, but that's okay. Um, This morning, I, I told Sam, this morning I told Dad, I'm going down. Do you want me to get you anything before I leave? And he's like, no, don't go down by yourself. I'm getting Gabby. I was like, oh, that's so nice. Magnet fishing is you take a magnet and you go to the lake and fish with it. Yeah, what do you think you're going to get? Um, license, license plates. plates. <laughs> She's hoping to get a phone. Yes. Wouldn't it be neat? I've seen somebody. Yeah, so that's what he wants to do today and it is Father's Day, so we are going to leave our horses and we're going to go do that with him. How are they? This is a pole. I can't wait to set these up. You want to set them up in the outdoor arena later? You want to put them in the indoor? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the boys need water too. You should ride, then go. I think we should go and then ride. No, because we can only ride, then go. No, because listen, it's Father's Day. And I have my ice caps there. So whenever you guys. Ice caps! found a bunch of jumps for sale on Facebook and it was a race to get them so many people wanted them these are them we expected them to be a little bit nicer but they're not and that's okay I still love them everybody's gonna start somewhere these ones are super cool they're five foot jumps they're really heavy duty and strong and Gabby loves the cut whoops Gabby loves the cups because they go in so easy they hold these poles over here and they're like a square pole some of the poles are not awesome they're just like what we have already not actual professional jump poles but we have a pink one two blue ones some white ones one two three six new jumps we also got another set of these standards that we already have and they came with a jump cups or they came with the cups too which I'm grateful for our new jumps Smarter than you thought, huh? Okay, listen. I mean, look at you. You got cuts on you. Where are the cuts? Storm. Ooh. Storm been biting you. The storm been biting you, Willow. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I got another treat. I got nothing. I did it, you guys. I seriously did it. I can't even explain. I wanted to like cry. Stella came up to me and wanted me to brush her and to and to scratch her, and it was 
unbelievable. Like, like I've never seen anything like it before. She's never acted like that before. Like, it wasn't about treats. It was about me brushing her and getting all the itchy spots. No, I had to use my hands. I was afraid to leave her. I was afraid that if I that I left, look at you guys. She really likes me now. I know, but we had like an hour by ourselves. Don't like her, like me. Back in the day when the girls were really young, we used to red. It's so not fair. We used to take the girls fishing all the time because it was something that Sam really liked to do. We've really been into the horse thing. It seems like it's something that we kind of let fall by the wayside. And um, now Sam's got this new thing that he really wants to try called magnetic fishing. Basically, you have a magnet and a really long rope and you hold on. Do you, you tie the rope to yourself? That does not seem safe. Just so you don't lose your magnet. Oh, oh my god, I can't get it off already. Come on. Okay, good. Uh, he's really excited to find out what he could find in the in the water that's magnetic and what he can catch. So today's fishing trip is not about fish. Fish. It is about we could find magnetic fish. Magnetic fish, Gabby says. It's about catching something and treasures. Today's fishing trip is not about catching fish is about catching treasures. I'm worried if you tie the rope to yourself that you're gonna get, that you're gonna get pulled in if there's like a boat or something. Yeah, don't throw it if there's a boat. Like don't tie it to yourself. I'm sure there's boat, I know there's cars in this canal. You got first throw. All right, a piece of metal, a piece of metal. We're here catching stuff now. Who says you can't catch anything? Everybody. I got a fish! I got a fish! I got a fish! fish. Let's see. Fish I can't believe Sophie caught a fish. It's a lure, a fishing lure in the shape of a fish. Oh, that's the hook that goes with it. Awesome. I got a fish! Broken, but, eh. I got a fish! <laughs> I was fighting with this thing. There is a car. There's a car down there. Do you believe me now? I was so there was a car down there even before you just I proved that there was a car down there. Sophie literally just doesn't say a single word. She just pulls up this big huge show my camera sound. Been fighting with it for like 15 minutes. That's the shock absorber with a spring on it. That's what Sophie caught. Show my camera. Wow, we should call the cops like shock cops absorber. called. That's like a ATV thing or something. Sophie has good luck. So we caught nothing. <laughs> you guys like it? Mm -hmm. I got a bobby pin. Got a bobby pin? Did you guys like that kind of fishing? Yeah. Yeah, but, it's just that. But here it's easier to fish, like actually fish. Yeah. You want to come back on another day with our fishing stuff? Yes. Oh. And then bring the main fish in. Wow, I can't believe what you did. It's looking good. Oh yeah, because we have a blue pole now and a, and a red pole. I find that I'm struggling with confidence issues now, again, since I fell. I just think that it's because the lesson that I learned from falling was that anything can happen in, in, like, I was not expecting that. Anything can happen in the blink of an eye and it can change your world forever. And 
I got really scared. It, it really scared me. So even now, standing up there in the middle of the arena, videoing Gabby while she's jumping storm, and my heart was beating a million miles a minute. And the only way that you can combat fear, you guys, and prevent it from swallowing you up is to go out there and stand in the middle of the arena and fake it till you make it. So I challenge all of you guys that are struggling with confidence issues to go out there, fake it till you make it. Just go out there and pretend, pretend that you're not scared and before long you won't be.